हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन मारपोल ऑयली वाटर सेपरेटर इन टुडे वीडियो विल सी थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ डायग्राम दैट हाउ एन ऑयली वाटर सेपरेटर वर्क स्टेज बाय स्टेज आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी दैट वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन फोर्टीन रिगार्डिंग द ऑयल फिल्टरिंग इक्विपमेंट and what is the regulation 15a for special discharge within a special area and outside the special area i guarantee you that after watching this video your concept regarding oil water separator will be clear once for and all so please tune till last i guarantee you will learn a lot friends marine engineering hub is a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for examination and for your separator service so please do subscribe us and please do share by your one subscription you provide a lot of encouragement friend if you want to clear examination fine and swiftly you can join the membership and you can watch the other exclusive video which is aid to breeders so let's start the today video of oily water separator so as you can see this is the oily water separator how it looks like from the outside basically it consists of two chamber this is the oil content meter this is the bilge pump and this is the probe which sends the oily content and open the valve to the sludge tank so let's see one by one so as you can see here first give you a parameterization of here so this is the first chamber this is the second chamber okay and this is the overboard going to the sea this is the bilge holding tank so normally what will happen the water will come from here from bilge holding tank and this is the bilge pump this is the first chamber which consists of this is the capacitor this is the baffle plate and this is the inverted cone and this is the drain cock this is here air vent and this is the relief valve now when the oil is getting collected it is getting discharged to the oily sludge tank from this control valve okay and after that as you can see this is the oil content meter and which is giving a sensor to the three way valve to divert the water either to the overboard or to the bilge holding tank so this is how the overall thing look like so let's see how the ows work so this is the two chamber we have talk about now as you can see first what will happen the first before starting the ows we need to fill it with the clean sea water we fill it with the clean sea water from here means the bilge pump having a connection one is from the bilge holding tank and one is from the sea the sea water is been pumped into the first chamber and second chamber and after that what will happen the vent will be kept open so you are filling up it with the sea water and you are keeping the vent open so that all the air which is in the system is getting removed as the air is getting removed after that you close the vent after the vent is closed now you close the sea water valve and now you open the bilge holding tank valve now as the bilge holding tank valve open the bilge water started to come inside the ows first chamber so as you can see the water is getting inside the first chamber so as a bilge holding tank water consisting of some oily content so what will happen this is because of that some hazel like this it will look like so as it come inside the first chamber there is a baffle plate adjustment and because of the difference in density because of difference in density it will get separated and the oil will start to get accumulate on the top of the probe so and after that what will happen the oil will get on the top of the on the top here and the water will flow from the down why because of the different in density now in order to enhance the oil separation this baffle plate and inverted cone is provided what will happen this baffle plate will tend to accumulate the small oil droplet and help it to become a large droplet and as it become a large droplet what will happen 
the it will the now suppose the oil droplet is here like this so it will be become large droplet and through this it will go up to the top okay so this it will go to the top okay now the oil droplet will go to the top and will get collected here okay so the bilge water is coming from here now after getting inside some is getting separated large oil droplet is going up directly now the small oil droplet is getting attached to this baffle plate it becoming a large oil droplet and through this inverted cone is getting up and collected here now as it is getting collected air the oil content will increase now when this capacitance probe will sense the difference in capacitance because of the oil and water when it will fill with the oil the capacitance value will change and because of that it will send a signal to the control and this control will send a signal to the oil control valve to open and the oil from here will go to the sludge tank once more i will repeat what will happen so what is happening so what is happening the oil which is collected here will be sensed because of the difference in capacitance value as you know oil and water has having different capacitance value so once the sufficient amount of oil is getting collected the capacitance value will change and based on that it will receive a signal from a control oil control valve will open and the oil will flow from here to the oily sludge tank so this is how the first chamber work so after some of the oil is getting separated here the remaining oil is now moving up to the second chamber so as the oil is getting moved to a second chamber it consists of two part two coalescer filter is provided the first coalescer filter is what it is doing it is removing some of the sludge and some solid and some oil and after that the other property of coalescer filter is that what do you mean by coalescer filter the word coalescer it means that what it is doing it is reducing the surface tension between the oil molecules and hence increasing the surface and after reducing surface tension what will happen it will become a large oil droplet and due to a difference in density it will get collected on the top so what is happening the remaining water is coming in the second stage okay after that this coalescer filter is reducing the surface tension which is causing the small small oil droplet to get collected and absorbed and change into a large droplet and after that it is going up due to the difference in density and the same way the oil probe is provided here on the top which is sensing the difference in the capacitance value and from the control it is getting a signal and the oil remaining oil which is collected here will be sent to the oily sludge tank so this is how the first stage and second stage work so what is happening the coalescer filter in the layer chamber take out the remainder of oil from the small droplet which coalesce to form the large drop so basically the meaning to coalesce to form large drop how it is happening it is happening because the coalescer filter is reducing the surface tension because the surface tension between the small small droplet of oil is reduced due to which it coalesce to form the large oil droplet so now this is how the first chamber and second chamber is separating the oil so now after the oil which is contained in the bilge water is separated to sufficient amount it is going now for the to the oil content meter the sample will be drawn from the second stage to the oil content meter now this oil content meter what it will sense it will check that after the filtration whether the oil in the bilge water is less than 15 ppm or not if the oil contained in the bilge water is less than 15 ppm in that case it will allow the water to go overboard so now as you can see here as you can see after the oil is getting filtered now it is getting sense and once it is getting sense okay it is good to go it is going to overboard so when it is below 50 ppm at that time after the filtration of second stage it is going to the overboard now suppose after the filtration is still the 
oil is having a content more than 15 ppm then what will happen the if suppose it is 16 ppm what will happen it will give a alarm it will give a audio visual alarm means you will see the audio by ear and visual by red signal okay after that what will happen it will divert the water from the overboard to the bilge holding tank okay and the bilge holding tank will be diverted back and again the whole system will follow so as you can see at the same time oil content meter will send a signal to the three-way valve on the over discharge line which close the overboard and open the open to the bilge tank now this is how the whole thing work okay so this oil content meter is sensing if it is above 16 ppm it will give the alarm and after the alarm what will happen it will divert the whole thing to the now as you can see here one more thing i want to say say with you is that there is a relief valve is provided why this relief valve is provided now suppose now suppose by default what you have done you have started the ows and you have forgot you have closed this overboard valve and you have closed the three-way valve manually now what will happen the water cannot flow the system will build up the pressure so it need to be released where it will release it will release from this relief valve so in order to prevent unwanted over pressurization and accident discharge what will happen this relief valve will lift up okay so because of this the relief valve is provided so now you know why the air vent is provided why the relief valve is provided and why the capacitance proof is provided now there is certain regulation regarding the regulation for in oil filtering equipment so basically two regulation come one is the MEPC 10749 which adopted in 2003 okay and US have same adopted 46 CFR 162.0521 you can see this MEPC mentioned in this CFR content so basically MEPC 10749 is the one regulation which was latest and before that there was equipment was following MEPC 6033 so in the market you can find these two thing so as you can see this is the oil filtering equipment which need to be certified by this two me pc okay now it is necessary to make sure that here what you have seen this is a coalescing filter okay so now some technology some manufacturer are using different technology in order to make their plan so the main aim what is the main aim the main aim is to achieve ultimately what the main aim is to achieve that the discharge which is going out is less than 15 ppm so that can be of different type so basically this is a coalescing type so there can be also chemical separation type they can also be centrifugal separation type so different different technologies are there whatever technology you are using you need to make certificate certified by the IMO you need to take a IMO type approval so whatever technology you are using you need to make sure that you discharge the not exceed 15 ppm and the oil content should be collected in the search tank which can be insinuated or given to the so reception facility now talks we will talk about arctic regulation 15 of the marpol which talks about the discharge regulation so as you know this is a very common concept that common question which asks in examination so what mistake we guys make I will tell you about this so first they will ask you whether you can discharge OWS in special area or not if they ask you that whether in the special area you can discharge oily water so your answer should be yes your answer should be yes okay yes you can discharge but there are certain regulation what regulation the first is that ship should be en route what is the meaning of en route en route is meaning that suppose if you are starting from a point A and you are going to point B your way should be such that it should not make a circle it means if your point A and point B means if where you are starting and where you are ending is the same point like a circle then it will not be considered end route your way should be such that it should not come a close form a closed loop you should form a straight loop from A to B like that okay so the ship should be en route after that the oil content should be not exceeding 15 ppm alarm 
and the most important thing is that when you are going to discharge in a special area you should have a OWS which will give a alarm as well as it will automatically stop so it means that if you have a OWS which will give a alarm along with stopping the OWS uh, stopping the OWS I mean to say means stopping the discharge of bilge water overboard along with the alarm then you can use that OWS in the special area once more I will tell you it mean to say that if you have a OWS equipment or arrangement such that you can discharge the bilge water overboard and if the content is more than 15 ppm it should give an alarm along with stopping the water overboard so that is the main criteria of the special area now outside the special area you so ship should be enrolled you should not exceed 15 ppm you, your uh, contents should not origin from the cargo oil or the bilge other than bilge from the cargo uh, from the uh, cargo area after that it says that here there is no requirement that you should have a automatic shutdown system it means that here outside special area you can have a device which will give the alarm but it will continue to discharge even if the content is more than 15 ppm but in the special area you should have a device which will give a alarm and you should or your water build water going outside should stop immediately either by recirculation or by the stopping of the pump but outside the special area it will only give the alarm and water will discharge and it can be manually stopped by you or by the some mean now so these are the main difference between the special area and outside special area so whenever in the examination they are going to ask you you should say the ship should be en route the oil content meter effluent should not exceed 15 ppm the mixture should be passed through the oil filtering equipment and they should have a automatic shutdown stopping device arrangement and fourth is that it should not originate from the pump room bilges in case of oil tanker from the it should not be mixed with the oil residue so these four points you should take settle in a examination so friend in today video you have learned that what is the regulation 14 what is the regulation 15 what is the 2 MEPC regulation and how this OWS work friend if you think I have given you some valuable content please encourage us by subscribing and please share our video with your friends friends if you are watching till now I understand that you want to clear examination and you want to learn something valuable so please I request you to join the membership check it out I guarantee you will like it so friends